Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. As you all know, we are going on with the series of videos with the important questions of all the social science history chapters. So here we are with the video of class 9, social studies, that is history chapter, religious reformers of India chapters, all the important question and answers. So this is going to make easy for you all to prepare for your examination. And if you want all the previous chapters, important questions, videos, you can look into the i button above which is uh, sharing the link of those videos and you can click and have a watch of it so let's get started but before that if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos so let's get quickly started with the chapter and with this chapter and its important questions so we have here three categories though this video is very small few with few questions this is going to help you all to prepare for your exam so very firstly we have objective type questions from this chapter and it is fill in the blanks so let's start first one shankaracharya was born at dash in kerala answer is kaladi Next, the world is an illusion. Brahma alone is the truth. This was propounded by Dash. Answer is Shankaracharya. Next, proponent of Dvaita philosophy is Dash. It is Madhvacharya. Okay, so highlighted word is your answer. So these are few important objective questions from this chapter. Let's move to the next one. And here we have short answer type questions. So first question from this chapter is, who is the proponent of Advaita philosophy? Answer, Shankaracharya is the proponent of Advaita philosophy. Next question. Which is the philosophy advocated by Ramanujacharya? What is their sect called? Answer. Vishishta Dvaita is the philosophy advocated by Ramanujacharya. Next question. Name the books written by Ramanujacharya. Answer. Vedanta Sangraha, Vedanta Sara, Vedanta Deepika, Shri Bhasya and Gita Bhasya are the books written by Ramanujacharya. So here we finish with our short answers. Now let's move to the long answer type questions from this chapter. So the important question here is, explain the Advaita philosophy. Answer, according to this philosophy, the world is Maya, an illusion. Brahma is the absolute truth. People are ignorant. They are not aware of the illusionary nature of the world. They are also not aware that Brahma is the only truth. Hence, we should go on the path of knowledge and realize the nature of the world. Ultimately, we should merge our Atma with the absolute truth, Brahma. Only then we can attain moksha, that is, liberation. In this manner, Shankaracharya taught the path of knowledge. Okay, so these were his preachings, you could say, or uh, the tenets of Advaita philosophy, or explain Advaita philosophy. Any such type of question comes, you can write this answer. Let's move to the next one. Next important question. Okay, which are the tenets advocated by Madhvacharya? Answer. According to Madhvacharya, the world is not maya or illusion. It is as true as Paramatma or the divine soul. Between these, the divine soul is independent and the rest of the world is illusionary. The divine soul and the human soul have a lord and servant relation. Lord Vishnu or Narayana alone is supreme. Worship of Lord Vishnu can elevate the human soul and thus enable it to attain moksha. Okay, so let's move to the next one. Name the books written by Shankaracharya. Answer, the books written by Shankaracharya are 
शंकर भास्य आनंद लहारी सौंदर्य अलहारी शिवनंद लहारी विवेक चूडामणि प्रबुद्ध सुधाकर एंड दक्षिण मूर्ति स्त्रोत्र so these were the books written by shankaracharya and his hymn his hymns bhag bhaj govindam is also world famous so the hymns written by shankaracharya is known as bhag bhaj govindam bhaj govindam which is also very world famous so this question could also be asked for one mark where you could write just two or three books name as a uh, answer and you can uh, go with it or if it's a long answer for two marks then you could write all these names which are mentioned here so this way it would help you so i hope this video was helpful in making you prepare for this chapter for your examination and if you like the video do hit the like button for more such videos stay tuned we'll be back with the next chapters question answers till then stay safe and take care thank you